Okay, um, today uh, let's try to solve sample problem so that we can show how the stiffness matrix of our plate bending element is uh, no, no, is solved the elements the plate bending element stiffness matrix then how to come up with uh, after having the stiffness matrix then uh, how to come up with the s matrix then finally to solve the the displacement which are the and uh, we have the w the theta x and theta y. Okay. So the vertical displacement, the rotation in x and y axis. I have opened here Darryl Logan's PDF, as you will see, it's on chapter 12, the plate bending element. Okay. So if you notice, it, uh, it uses also the same formula no? so remember this is our for the formula we use in deriving the stiffness matrix last week and this is the modulus of uh, rigidity or the sorry the no? the d matrix yeah the rigidity then by the way after finding this displacements we will have to find the curvature. Where's that curvature? Ato, these are the curvatures. Uh, in in our reference last time, it was uh, it has a notation like this. Okay. In Darryl Logan's, it's this one. So you will see that after finding the curvature, you can now find the moment. So you have the MX, local MX, local MY, local MXY, which you are familiar with, no? If you are using STAAD, no? Uh, using plate elements. Mx, my, mxy. So to get that, you have to simply multiply the the d matrix. This is constant, no? This is a constant matrix. The b matrix, and finally the displacements. So which means, basically, it's uh, if you have found the curvature you have to just multiply that with uh, the, the rigidity to find the moments with the forces. Okay. So let me search for the problem. Yeah, so it's a classical plate problem. No, that's why he uses this. It's uh, can be seen in. Uh, 
another numerous plate element formulations in the literature. So first, uh, let's model also this one in STAD also. Yeah, so numerical comparisons, quadrilateral plate element, okay, from Gallagher, no? 1975 pa. So we have to model a four plates and then subject that with a concentrated load P. There was the, I don't know, yeah, this one. So you will see in this problem, the problem square steel plate fixed along all four edges and subjected to a concentrated load at its center. Yeah, determine the vertical deflection. Convert, let's convert into uh, an SI units. <laughs> I'm more familiar with that. So you have a 20 inch by 20 inch plate. So if you divide that by two, you have 10 inch by 10 inch. And the thickness is 0 0.1 inch. This is 100 pounds. Okay. So I'll give you time to, uh, to, to help me convert this into an SI. How about the no, dimension? So 10 inch is basically 250, no? 250 mm. Two fifty. So if I model this instead, this is zero zero, for example. So it has uh, units of or length of five hundred. So five hundred, and then. What did you saw, no? 0.44, no? 82. Okay, thank you, Krista. Okay, hey, so this is now star add. So I'll type in zero. Uh, X, Y, point 0.25, zero, and then point 0.5, zero. And then uh -huh. choose nodes cursor. And, and then translational repeat. So Z, uh, uh, 0.25, and then another 0.25. Yeah, so we now have three times three, nine nodes.
Okay, click add plate. And uh, again, be consistent no, with your direction. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, I'm oh, sorry. Add play. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Okay. In properties, uh, the problem is 10 inch. A point one inch, so that is zero point uh, two point back at two point fifty four. Yeah, two point fifty four mm. So oh, by the way, what is the material? Be material. Well, it depends on ah steel plate pala. Steel plate. So steel. Thickness, let's choose steel, uh, 2.54, 0. 0.12254, 0. 254 mm, then add, and then of course apply, and then assign. You see in the problem, it's all fixed, no? Fixed connected in all edges. So let's proceed with the supports. Create, create a fixed support, add. Click all the edges. And then assign. Ah, sorry, I need to select first the command. And then assign. Yes. And then an unload. 0.448 kilonewton. Load case. Add know the load negative zero point four four eight. Add close, then apply at the center. Okay, let us uh, save this first. Then analysis. Then run. Post processing, uh, exaggerate the displacement, uh, press control. The problem na kasi mouse ko eh, hindi ko maano. Okay, use this. And the displacement is 2.127 mm. So let's check that with our reference.
Okay, so this is the solution. So according to a classical solution, plate bending solution, uh, 0 0.0056 PL square over D. So this one, uh, multiply natin sa 25. 25.4, what do we get? It is almost the same, right? 2.07. Compared with STAAD, we got ano, 2.17, no? Okay, so let's uh, let's move to our SMAT. Okay, so this is our S math. So we have the same modulus elasticity, Young's modulus E two hundred five. What's our A point? Uh, no, twenty five. So I'll change this to zero point. I zero point twenty five thickness zero point a meter yata. Anyway, see zero point zero zero two five four. Okay. Poisson is 0.3 for steel. That's it. So we can now have our uh, stiffness matrix. So when I click recalculate, that should give the stiffness matrix for the single plate. Oh my, we got the record. <laughs> so guys, for the sake of recording, again, uh, once you have the stiffness matrix uh, for the element one, two, three, and four, these are the corresponding degrees of freedom. And referring to the derivation last week, so we should start from the bottom left you know, per, per element. So for, for member element one, 
we should start the coding from 10 to 13. No, this should be 10 to 13. Then the last is 7 to 9. So this should be 7 to 9. Then for element 2, should be 7 to 9. Then the last is 16 to 18. For element 3, 25 to 27. And then the last is 22 to 24. And last for element 4, it should be 22 to 24. And 19 to 21. Okay. And you will notice that for element one, we will need the, the corner. No? The, since this is the last node, seven to nine, so we will need this. Okay. Uh, again, remember that a stiffness matrix for each element is the same, no? Because they have the same dimension and material no? and thickness. Then um, for element two, the unknown displacements correspond to the first node. So it should be here. Okay. For element three, the unknown displacement seven to nine corresponds to its third node. So somewhere here, which is this one, the orange uh, box. And last for the element four, corresponds to the second node, no? seven to nine, so it should be here, the green box. And uh, combining all that data, that will form your S matrix. So that's a three by three matrix. And you have a three by one force vector so get the inverse of this S matrix multiplied with the force vector, you will get the displacements. The displacement W, theta X, and theta Y. So I'll give you time to, uh, no, to to combine all of them. <laughs> so, three by three lang yan, no? It's just a three by three, kaya ng calculator. Okay. Okay, uh, uh, let me uh, give you uh, three minutes, no? Then I'll try to do this in MATLAB. Let me try in MATLAB. Uh, one element first, no, just one element. Element, four nodes, restrained, one, two, three lang. Let's say one, two, three. Okay. One element. And then fours, one, two, three, four, five, four. Let me try four. And then for the node coordinates, zero point. 25. Sorry. Say I am assuming I'm modeling this. Zero. Zero. Zero point twenty-five. 
0.25, 0 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25
0.8. Tapos second ano nga to? Second row 0. Then third row 0. That's my PP matrix. And finally the displacement um ba? Ayan, ang dami ko lang variable na displacement. Eh. O, display na lang. Equals, uh, since 3 by 3 lang to, this can be inverse of s mat multiplied with the p vector. Copy this. Display. Okay, so that's your displacement. So this serves as your uh, vertical deflection in the two rotation. Okay. So I'm yet to verify this um, this value. So that's basically the uh, no, the the procedure. So very easy in MATLAB. So oh, by the way, in 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 this stiffness matrix, I'm not expecting the same result with Staad. Now why? Because dito nyo may kita yung ano yung difference kay Staad na higher order element yung gamit niya. No kahit pa kahit pa four elements lang yung minodal natin in staad, it can almost generate the same, it can almost generate the exact answer because it uses a higher order element. Hindi siya simpleng, ano, 12 degrees of freedom, ganon, hindi, no? Ni research ko na yan, no? doon sa technical manual niya. Naglagay siya ng parang nodes sa middle, I believe, no? Tapos may shear deformation, ano din siya, consideration. Which is in our lecture, hindi natin kinusider yung seed deformation, right? Thin plate lang talaga. So, ang um, tanda ko dito is, to get the same answer, this 2mm, we need to refine our mesh. Now, we need to refine our mesh to come up with the same result. Okay? But my current, ano ngayon, uh, current, uh, ano muna, goal is to come up with the same stiffness matrix. As we have here, no? So that's another issue, no? Okay. So this is a uh, 16 element, no? So uh, my basis here is this one. The 16 element. Uh, but the same overall dimension, 500 by 500. Thickness is 0 0.00254. So in star add, uh, we got 1.9 or 2 mm. Okay. And then here in MATLAB, yeah, 2.1 mm or 0 0.0021 meters. Okay. Now I'll try to. Save us one element. Oh. Okay, save. I'll just focus on here. Okay, plate. So this should be zero point two five. 0.25 
one then k plate yeah it should be ano yung problem dito so i think ito nang itong smat na yung hindi updated <laughs> no kaya updated dito update ko to ah. 0.25 So this should be 0 0.00254. Calculate the calculate. So, so you see, no, na I'm confident now. I'm pretty confident sa MATLAB ko. Because mayroon akong something sa SMAT eh, na Hindi ko na ma-trace minsan because ito nga because of the B matrix no may ano diyan may may what they call this Ito lang ito lang may may na interchange lang na negative sign yun lang yung problem diyan If I check this, so I can say now that uh, since I already confirmed my MATLAB code, so this should be my S matrix in SMAT. Okay? Because ito yon, Ito yung conversion ng S matrix sa SMAT. Yan. Yan yung S matrix. So, for, for example, yan, define natin yung A and B. Okay? Then ito yung B matrix. So, let's observe our B matrix here. Ayan. Negative 2, okay. Negative 6x, okay. Negative 2y, okay. Negative 6xy, okay. Negative 2, yan. You see? May mali dito. Negative 2x, negative 6y, negative 6xy. So it should be negative 2. Ayan. So... Please update the, ano, the file. So, 0, 0, 0, 0, negative 2 again here. Then this should be negative 4x and negative 4y. What else? Negative 6x squared and then negative 6y squared. Okay, what else? So, ganun din. Yung B transpose should be updated. Okay. Ito pala. Sorry. Ito pala. Negative 2, negative 6x, negative 2y, negative 6xy. Then this is negative 2, negative 2x, negative 6y, negative 6xy. Then negative 2, negative 4x, negative 4y, negative 6x squared, negative 6y squared. So, ganun din dito. Kasi this is the B transpose, so I'll update this also. So negative 2 here, negative 6x, negative 2y, negative 6xy, negative 2x, negative 6y, negative 6xy, correct? Negative 4x here, negative 4y, negative 6x squared, 
negative 6y squared. And that's it. Then recalculate. So that's the advantage of uh, coding first sa SMAT. No? Nakikita mo yung equation. No? Pero when it comes to editing, tapos meron ka ng multiple mesh, so a lot of meshes, mabilis sa MATLAB. No? So uh, ganun yung naging process ko. Eh, no? Sa SMAT muna para kitang-kita ko yung, ano, yung evolution ng code. No? Yung, ano, yung pinaka... Yung sa variable, no? Then, tinetest ko na ngayon. Pag na, alam ko na-establish na yung code sa SMAT, ita-transfer ko ngayon sa MATLAB, saka ko na-implement for many meshes. No? Sa SMAT, hindi ko siya ma-implement for a lot of mesh. Sa, sa MATLAB mo, ko magagawa yun, no Pero yung correctness ng code, yung flow sa SMAT, eh, mas ano ko siya sa SMAT. Okay. Pero nakita ko ngayon yung yung incorrectness naman ng SMAT nung nag-ano na ako, nung nag na ako. Pero this the flow yun siya. Uh, the, the main idea sa SMAT is yung flow, no? Ah, uh, yung flow yung pinaka ano. May mga ano lang talaga sa uh, sa code. Okay, let, let's check. Meron pa rin, may konting ano pa rin. Discrepancy. Okay, there then. No way. What am I going to do with it? One at five point twenty five point zero zero two five four. Anyway, so how about ano? So assuming this is uh, this should be my S matrix, no? So let's do this manually using a four by four element lang. So na yung ginawa ko kanina. Ito. Ito, yan. Yung code na to, kopyahin ko to. Go to C. Then this is the one element. Copy this. Okay, and then paste here. Displacement. So, ayan. Ayan talaga eh, no? Based on this, na ano niya no hindi hindi okay okay na na ano ko na yung sa MATLAB no so ito talaga no 0 0.926 so therefore that's just 0 0.0009 meters or 1 mm lang no 1 mm lang yung na nakukuha nung 4x4, four 2x2 four, uh, two two na plate. No? So, that's the problem. No? That's the problem kapag inano mo lang siya. Uh, very, you know, small number of elements lang yung ginamit. No? Hindi mo, ma, ano, hindi mo ma, makukuha yung tamang vertical displacement. No? And as you observe, nung nag, ano, ako, na nag-16 element ako, I almost got the same vertical displacement. So that's a problem. No? Kaya nga, uh, ina-encourage ko kayo na uh, gawin siyang ano, uh, 
to make a, a mesh uh, more than ano, just a two by two no? to come up with the, ano, the more accurate result. No? Okay, so may question ba? Nakuha nyo ba sa mga nag-excel? in element so okay so again explain ko naman tong sa matlab ko 16 element where's the 16 element sinevas ko kasi no so i'll reopen that again open so 16 element and then uh, clear ko muna. Clear. So you can imagine if I do this in SMAT, no? So let's just try to, ano? Let's just try to, uh, I have, I will prepare a 16, ano? 16 element, uh, K1. Uh, yeah, 16, yeah. 1, um, 2, 3, 3, 4, tapos, for ulit dito. Ayan. Ganto na lang, no? Ayan. Apat. Okay? Tapos, uh, same, ano? Same. So, this is your 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, Lahat to magiging an, ano, see? Itong interior nodes natin, they will be unnodes. There will be displacements. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You have 9 nodes with 3 displacements. So 9 times 3. So our S matrix is what? 27 by 27. Okay? So for example, dito, if we follow the the rule of counterclockwise ano, co uh, coding. So we will get the, ano, for let's say this is plate 1, plate 2, plate 3, plate 4, plate 5, plate 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So for plate 1, I'll need the the ano no the the ano the <laughs> sorry the fourth fourth yeah the the uh, bottom left bottom right three you know rows and columns. So yeah. for plate 2, what you will need what the first and the fourth so let's say this is K2, the first and the fourth. For K3, ganun din, the first and the fourth. Ito din yung kukuling mo dyan. For K4, only the first. Ito lang, yung data dyan. K5, so K5, K6, K7, K8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay? So for K fifth element, you need the third and the fourth. No? So third and fourth. So ito siya. Yung fourth dito, so ito yung third, for example. Yung sixth element, the whole, the whole, ano, stiffness matrix. Kailangan mo to, yung buong yan. Seven, ganun din. You will need the whole, uh, EX ko ah, para to, ano, to indicate na lahat kailangan. For the eighth element, the first and the second. The first and the second. Imagine, dami niya, no? For the ninth, the third and the fourth. Third and the fourth, and then. For the tenth, the whole matrix you will need. For the eleventh, 
the whole matrix you will need for the 12 first and second first and second for the 13th element only the third element uh the, the third block for the 14th the second and the third make it a new pattern no for the 15th ganun din second and the third for the 16th the second okay kita niyo yung pattern yung mga interior plates you will get all of its uh, stiffness matrix extra yung mga edges or corners you will just get um uh, three no uh, three rows three columns yeah yung mga corners no Pero yung mga edges, you will get at least two. Yeah. Two, or sabihin na natin, six rows, six columns. Yeah. That's why uh, you really need to automate this. No? Pero, uh, and, uh, it's up to you no, sa Excel how, how you will do it. No? So basically, ganyan yung nangyari for this 16 element uh, code. No? Doon sa four, four elements, two by two, kaya pa eh. No? Kasi nga, ang nangyari sa, sa two by two, yung nag-iisang node lang yung may displacement. So you can just extract the, no, and add them up. No? Pero as you notice, we didn't get... Uh, a good result no because very ano siya no uh, uh, 0.25 yeah may ano siya hindi siya ganoon ka accurate no? that's why when i do this instead so uh, i i investigate to so bakit i instead only uses the same four element pero it gets the same result no then that's when when I check on the manual, hindi siya 12 by 12, no? Meron siyang, yun nga, it, it, the stad already uses uh, a shear deformable plates, no? So, mas advanced, mas advanced siya, okay? Yeah, because it's software, no? It costs millions, no? It costs 100,000, no? Okay? At least, with the, uh, with, uh, with this, ano, with this course, you will first-hand realize the, ano, the, the difference of the software versus the, the tin plate uh, element, stiffness element formulation. So, yeah, I'll give you time to check this out. So I, I think if in Excel, you can still, ano, you can still do, get the same result. Hindi ko lang siya in-explore sa SMAT, no? Kasi nakakatamad na yun, no? So, gagawin ko dyan is, if I do this 16 element, imagine I will get, kasi more than uh, extracting this uh, data, ipi-place mo pa siya dito sa 27 by 27. Hahanapan mo pa siya ng addresses. Okay, medyo tedious siya. Okay, then uh, next, I'll be showing you how I extract the node numbers, the restrained DOF instead. No? So I'll, I'll give you two-minute break. Ano ko na naman yung recording. Ulitin ko, no? So, inilagay ko yung ano, no? Yung when I paste the stad, so we have X, Y, Z, but in our, in our derivation, we are only dealing with X, Y plane. So, ang gagawin ko, uh, I, I, I copied the Z coordinates instead to the Y column here. Yeah. To be consistent dun sa derivation natin. And then, for the plate numbering, I'll repeat, the stad is 
starting from 1, 2, 4, 3, which is here at the upper left. Uh, view, view top. Yan. So, staad is uh, uh, numbering the plate nodes, uh, although counterclockwise, oh sorry, although clockwise, but it started with the upper left. But again, remember the stiffness matrix that, that we use is starting from the bottom left. No? So that's why uh, after, after copying this, so I'll rearrange this uh, by 3, 1, 2, 4. Yeah, 3, 1, 2, 4. So ito dapat yung mauna. So I'll cut this. I'll paste it here. Three, one, two, four. That's it, and that's my uh, node numbering. Okay, question. Yeah, so depends sa inyo yung magiging reference, no? Because I'm just, ano, I'm just saying this para uh, maging aware kayo that when you do this on your own, that's how important to make it sure na consistent dun sa derivation natin. Okay. Kaila, even yung kanina, di ba? Hindi ko, hindi ko mapalabas yung stiffness matrix ng SMAT sa ng MATLAB. Because, as it turns out, may hindi ako na-update sa SMAT na B matrix. And, uh, kailangan ko i-update sa MATLAB. And I'm, I'm, I'm already confident do sa MATLAB ko na updated because I'm able to get the same result with SAAD. Na meaning, my stiffness matrix is already established kay MATLAB. Okay, kay SMAT, uh, anong kwento nun? Why hindi siya ano, sa B matrix? It turns out, may mali dun sa reference natin. <laughs> may mali siyang ano, ano. So, yan yung ano. That's the story of uh, talagang ano. Kaya nga, in, in, in each subject, even sa finite element. That's a problem with referring to too many, ano eh, too many references. No? Uh, si gantong author magre-refer sa XY na ano let's say nag 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 nagderive siya ng stiffness matrix counterclockwise tapos pag kinode mo syempre dapat susundin mo siya no however etong si ano si NPTEL ano siya eh maganda yung flow kasi niya eh kaya siya yung sinunod ko eh however meron pala siyang problem do sa ano sa sa, deriv sa derivative i believe do sa derivative ng B matrix so, ganun, yun yung struggle. No? That's why okay, ako na yung nagkukwento sa inyo. <laughs> okay. So, that's the ano naman talaga. No? Uh, because NPTEL, Indians, okay, yung ano niya, way of derivation. Itong si Logan, American. So, iba din yung ano niya, at atake niya. Diba? Eh, ikaw na user, ikaw na nag-aaral, uh, meron ka dapat susundin. No? Okay. So very ano no very small detail no pero pag kinode mo na no ang laki ng changes ang laki ng ano epekto no So be mindful of that no kaya ko dinidiscuss to So ayun 3124 so I'll copy this and then I'll paste here um, pero tama na pala to eh 3421 <laughs> Bakit 3421 eh bakit kaya 34 Ito naman. <laughs> Clockwise naman. Sige, sige. Eh, tama naman siya. Okay. I-leave ko muna yan. Ha? Sa kanila. Madali lang naman yan. So, basically, yun lang naman eh. etong ano, ano ba ito? Ito, sa kanila ito. Uh, Inad ko lang yan. Pero hindi siya nakaka-apekto sa stiffness. Hmm. Yun lang, yun lang importante doon. Then, ito yung ano, yung sa B matrix. Okay, pinakita ko naman kanina. No? So, niretype ko lang from the SMAT. Ito yung transpose, niretype ko lang din from the SMAT. And then, oh, ito yung Poisson ratio, the elasticity, the D matrix. Niretype lang naman natin. Where's that? Ito. Okay. 
80 cube over 12, 1 minus uh, mu square. Yan, 1. Sorry. Okay. Pero type lang. Then, double integral. And integral, integral. That means double integral. Tapos, D matrix times B matrix. Yeah. Yeah. And ito yung phi matrix. So, pakita ko na this is also consistent. Yeah. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 1, 0, B, B square, B cube, 0, 0, 1, 2, B, 3, B square, 0, okay. negative 1, 0, okay. 0, negative 1. So, yun ha, consistent. T matrix. Ayun na. When I have the phi matrix, I also use the same. Okay. Then finally, the, the plate stiffness matrix is the top. Phi inverse, see? Then the REC above, ito, K mat, sa akin, then inverse phi. Same, same ano, no? basically same procedure. Ginamit, ginawa ko din sa S mat, no? May talagang ano lang, may hindi lang na-update dun sa B-matrix. And that's it. Okay. So, this code here, uh, obtain the stiffness matrix per element. No? Now, uh, this is the main code to be able to Formulate the whole stiffness matrix. Annotate. Um, I need to define an element to F which corresponds to the degrees of freedom numbering. So for example, um, K1 K1 uh, Remember, ano yung ano? Ano yung Numbering ko dito, say 3, 4, 2, 1. Naset ko yung matrix niya, yung ano niyan, row niya, di ba? So ang gagawin dyan, in each ano, node, etong element DOF, gagawan niya ng degrees of freedom numbering. Automated, no? For example, in this one, itong 3. 3 times 3, 9, minus 2. 7. Diba? Next, 3 times 3, 9, minus 1, 8. 3 times 3, 9. So, diba? so which corresponds to, ibig sabihin, my node 3 will correspond to degrees of freedom 7, 8, 9. My node 4 will correspond to 10, 11, 12. My node 2 will correspond to 2 times 3. 6, no? minus 2, 4, 5, 6. Then finally, node 1 will correspond to 1, 2, 3. Di ba? Nakita niyo yung pattern? Yun lang yung formula to, to be able to get the degrees of freedom numbering per node. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung K1 ko dito, automatic yan yung code. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. So, ganun din dito. Okay? And... Ilulup mo yan, no? Tapasin niyo, nilup ko siya to the number of elements I have. So I have 16 elements, so ilulup niya yan. Each, each stiffness, if each plate will have a corresponding uh, code depending kung ano yung node na attach sa bawat element. Okay? Yun na. Then, to be able to get the stiffness matrix, etong uh, K plate, basically, ya add lang niya. Uh, yun, yun, yung pinakita ko kanina, this one. This one. Yan yung gagawin niya. So, once na meron na akong code per each element dyan, siya na yung magkakamap ng stiffness matrix. Okay. okay so, uh, once I have my stiffness matrix here, 
Uh, ngayon, i-call ko na ngayon yung restrained DOF ko. Ayan. So, how do I get the restrained DOF in STAAD? Uh, annotate. Clear. So, punta ko ngayon sa... So, ang dami niya, no? 1, 2, 5, 7. So, gawin mo lang. Select cursor. Select ko to. Select ko yung... Ito yung mga restraint, no? Yeah. So, automatic na select na siya dito. So, just right-click, copy, and then paste here. Yan. So, ibig sabihin, uh, node 1... Ano? Node, uh, yeah, node 1, 2, 4. So, delete ko ito. Ah. Yan lang yung ano, uh, coordinate number. Tama ba? Yeah, node 1. Ah, no, ito pala. Ito pala yung kailangan ko. Ito lang yung... Ano ba ito? Mali, hindi yan ah. Mali, mali, mali. 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, dapat. Wait lang. Copy. Dilitin ko. Mali yung na-paste. Mm -hmm. Yan. Okay. So, dilit ko to. So, ito yung mga restraint nodes. So, ano yung formula? To get the ano, uh, this times 3 minus 2 so, copy ko to. Minus 1. Ayan. Then, ay. Ganun. Ah, mali yung ano. Ayan. So, node 1 will have 1, 2, 3. So, drag down ko lang yan. O, oh, di ba? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 34, tapos lagyan ng semicolon. Okay, and then copy this. Uh, yun na. Then paste here. Yun na yung restraint degrees of freedom. Okay? So ang gagawin niya doon, once na na-define mo na siya, yung matrix na yan, remember itong stiffness matrix na to, ang size niyan actually is, ano, ah, uh, how many nodes? 25. No? 25 nodes. So 25 times 3 is 75. 75 by 75. Ganyan kalaki yung, yung stiffness. I think basically the absolute stiffness matrix. Now, now because I define the restraint DOF, ang gagawin niya, aalisin niya yun dun sa... 75 by 75. So, remember, ano nga yung size ko dapat dito? Will be 27 by 27. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. 9 times 3, 27. Kasi, how many, ano ba tong ano natin? I have 16. So when I count this, this is 16. So meron akong 16 nodes na naka-fix, which corresponds to anong size? 16 times 3. 48. No? So 48 degrees of freedom yung maalis agad from this absolute stiffness matrix. So 75 minus 48. So 48 by 48. So, hindi. Yan. 27 ang natira. So, matitira 27 by 27. So, basically, ito yung S matrix natin. Ito yung pinaka-absolute K. Uh, meaning, the absolute K is dependent dun sa total uh, degrees of freedom. No? Regardless of the support. No? From 75 by 75, naging 27 by 27. So, yun yung gagawin nitong code na to. Yan. Ililess niya yung mga restrained DOF. Okay? And that's it.
So you have the S matrix, you have the P matrix, yung P vector. Madali lang naman i-define yun eh. No? Uh, Mag-ano ka lang, mag row, uh, sorry, column vector. Tapos indicate mo lang yung address nung, ano, nung, 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 ano, nung, nung force mo. Let's see. So definitely, your force vector should be 27 by 1. No, para maging compatible sila. Okay? Then just may displacements ka na. Okay? So, yan. So, na binigay ko na yung pinak-flow to get the displacement. So, it's up to you, no? How do you, you come up with the, ano, with your S matrix, no? So, you can also, you can still use the, ano, think of okay sa Excel din, no? Kung mga 16 element, Kaya pa siyan, kaya pa sa Excel. Tsaga lang. No? Okay. Do you have questions? Uh, by the way, no, if if you notice, I use the node numbers from Staad. No? So, ibig sabihin, this is node 13, which corresponds to anong ano niyan, code niyan, 13 times 3. No? So, ter, 39. No? So, 39. So, ano yung degrees of, ano yung code nung ano? So, that that is 13, so 39. So, that is 37, 38, 39. So, uh, uh, remember, Yung 38, theta yan. Tsaka 39. So therefore, yung 37 corresponds to the vertical ano, vertical force. So yung force ko, ang address is 37. Okay? So pansin niyo dito sa MATLAB, the force address here is yan, 37. Which is 0 0.44 times 10 raised to 3 Newton. No? Kaya, well, upon running this, oh, dinago ko pa naman. No? <laughs> uh, yeah, hindi pala. Okay. Sige, run ko na lang siya. So, when I wanted to find the displacement, displacements, so the address is 37 which is uh, the 2.1 meter or yeah uh, 0 0.0021 meter or 2.1 millimeter how about let's check yung yung displacement dito sa node 4 according kay staad it's 0 0.442 Zero point four four two mm, no. So that is uh, four times three, twelve, eleven, ten. So displacements ten. So let's check displacements ten. Yeah, so almost the same, no. Zero point forty three, no meter. Yung na kuhan niya, okay. And last, siguro, symmetrical naman kasi ito eh. Huh? Uh, how about node 12? 12 times 3, uh, 36, huh? 35, 34. So node displacement 34 should be 0.8 mm. Displacements 34. Ayan, so I'm getting... Uh, 0 0.99. Very, very small uh, difference. Okay. So, as a summary, no? Uh, I need uh, um, at least, no? Here, for uh, I was able only to get uh, 
an accurate result in MATLAB or let's say SMAT by defining a four by four element, no? With this problem. Ah, sorry, ito, this one. Yeah, with this problem, <laughs> uh, I need to get this in a, a four by four, not two by two, no? Just to get the same result no, in Staad. But other, although in Staad, by just using four by four, nakuha niya yung result, no? Because it's, Staad uses uh, an advanced finite element, no? Uh, meron siyang shear deformation plus I believe yung mid-sides niya, no? meron din siyang ano doon, uh, degrees of freedom. So therefore, mas iba yung stiffness matrix niya. Okay. So we were able to verify the classical plate uh, bending uh, problem. Uh, but you may ask, sir, but, but dito kay Logan, no? 4 by 4 mesh. Take note, software din yung ginamit niya. No? Software. Hindi siya gumamit nung ano natin. Kagaya nung ginawa natin. So magko-converge talaga yan. Software na yan. Eh. Okay, so with that, um, pwede ko na kayong bigyan ng, ano, no, ng activity. Two weeks deadline. <laughs> okay. So, sige. So, with that, uh, see you next time. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.